Hello guys, Sajal here. Welcome to Code Brains. Hope you are doing good in this lockdown period. With no option to go anywhere and only option to stay at home, let's keep ourselves sanitized, wash our hands on a regular interval, and stay clean and stay safe. Coming to the video, this time I have thought of making a tutorial series on Python GUI development using Tkinter. In this tutorial series, we'll be working on a GUI application of an admission form using Python Tkinter. This tutorial series will focus basically on creating an application form, but you can give it any look you want, you can make it of any type. The application can be made for any firms or institute. I have given it a look for an application form for a college, but you can make it look however you want. So what we'll do exactly is first we'll complete our application form that is the GUI application and after the completion of the form, we'll play with the printer the widgets and all the updates. That is, I'll be making short, short videos for updates for that application form and I'll be adding it in that application form. The whole code and the update code as well will be provided in my GitHub account. You can just go in the description and go to my GitHub page and look at the codes over there. So before starting, before jumping to the code, let's just make sure that we have Python installed on our systems and we have an IDE to work on. If not, pause the video and download them from the link given in the description. So guys, let's get started. This is my Atom application and this is my directory window. I have my directories over here and I have created the file in which I'll be working on. I have named it as page1.py. Since it is a Python GUI tutorial and we are using tkinter, First thing is that we need to import tkinter. Let's do that. We'll say from tkinter import asterisk. That says import all the packages from tkinter and few of the packages which we'll be working on. Let's import those as well. So say from tkinter import TTK. This package doesn't get automatically called when you are importing all the packages. That's why you need to import it separately. And apart from that, the packages which we'll be working on are uh, like from tkinter import message box. This we'll be seeing in later videos. Uh, just for uh, time saving purpose I have imported it right now and one more thing which we'll be working on on the third session is that uh, third or fourth session is connecting my GUI with the database and for that as well I'll import the package now itself so that is import mysql dot connector as mysql so for the database, I'll be using MySQL. I hope you have some of the knowledge of MySQL, connecting tables and uh, like creating tables and all. So I hope you know that if you don't just go through any videos in the YouTube or I'll be just putting the link in the description for you as well. So let's get started. In this video, we'll be just making the window in which we'll be adding our, our contents for student admission form. So let's create the window. So for that, we need a variable and we'll be calling the package tk that is window so this with this line we have called our window but we need to make it stay on the desktop or the screen because it's a continuous loop and our window will just come and it will go off so for that we say win dot main loop and with parenthesis with that we are done and let's execute our program and our window is ready this is very small and let's change this shape and size so for that we need to say win dot geometry of the window and you can uh, add the values whichever you like like whatever you like 
so I'll be going with uh, let's say 1920 that is my width x uh, let's go with 1080 and see if it is looking good I think that will do now add the title to it that is bin dot title you can add whatever you like since it is an admission form GUI I'll be going with admission form let's run our code and see if everything worked fine and yes it did and geometry has been done and our title has been placed and few more things in like since if you are working in web development or if you open web pages regularly you will see a nav bar on your uh, the page or the site we'll be doing that later but for now i'll create tabs in our window so that uh, the pages which we are working on become as tabs and not separate windows so let's create tabs and for that itself i had imported ttk from tkinter so let's press it and see how it goes documentation and you can see whatever style you can add to that and go with it in the program let's just declare and initialize our style sheet you can use any variable you like and it says ttk dot style s dot configure new dot t frame and a background equals I'll place background color as orange and we'll change that later if we feel so let's go with that and we'll see if it worked fine later Okay, with that, our style sheet is ready. Let's go with tabs. TTK.notebook, placing it in win. That is a window variable. With that, we have initialized, declared, and initialized our tabs. So, tabs has been initialized, but now we need our tab one, that the first tab which we'll be working on. So, let's do that. So saying tab one, any or you can use any variable. I'll go with tab one equals ttk dot frame, placing it in tabs and adding the style. New dot t frame, and this t frame should be in quotes. And tab one has been declared and initialized. We need to add it to our tabs. So let's go with that. Tabs dot add. Add our little tab one with our text as I'll go with AD short form for admission form or admission. AD and it has been placed in tabs but we need to place our tabs in the window as well so the tabs row should be placed on top of the window the first thing should be tabs itself so for that we need to say tabs dot pack there are various methods to place a widget or anything in your window a few of them are like pack and grid and place these are three of them uh, we'll be working with pack and grid actually we'll be working with grid most of the time this pack probably the first time we are using or we might use later for adding frames or something so that's it but uh, doing so we won't get our tabs accordingly like how we want it how you can see in this atom application you have this file edit and these things so we are trying to add a row similar to this where we'll be placing our uh, tabs like tab 1, tab 2, tab 3 and these file edit view since these are just a 
options to options for us in this application but the application which we are creating in that this will work as tabs so that's what we want but if you just give tabs.pack you won't get the same result so we need to add one few more lines or a few more keywords to it those are expand equals one and fill equals both let's try running the code and see if everything was successfully compiled no we have an error says style equals new dot d frame line 15 It's because new dot t frame both like the complete thing should be in quotes now it says name is not defined name s is not defined okay, of course we are not comparing we are declaring ttk frame is not defined so many mistakes but that's all right is in line 15 tab 1 equals ttk frame i guess that should be ttk dot frame and not ttk frame yeah that does it we have a background color and we have our tab tabs row and we have a tab bun in it that's what we wanted and well we have completed what we wanted to do in our first video but let's create few labels or the contents which we are going to place in our next video we'll just declare the variables for that quickly so that we save our time in our next video because it's probably going to be long so let's just declare the variables which are going to be used in next video so for that uh, since we'll be working with labels only so let's go with the first one and that is label and I will name it as T as label title. Next one I will name it as label space. Uh, you know why I named it as space. I will be describing each and every label in next video. And after that I name okay this section is gonna be personal information. So I will name it as PI. I need space again. Or I don't think I need a space. I guess I do. So let's place space over here. If we don't, we'll just remove it later. So we'll label space one. See I can recall it over here again, but that will be that might create a problem later so let's rename like create a separate variable for space so from here we start with the actual contents that whatever we are going to place in our GUI so in personal information what else we require is that uh, first, uh, the first name of the student last name date of birth gender father's name, mother's name, local guardian's name, if you're staying away from your parents like in a different state or a country, anything like that. So you need a local guardian's information as well. So let's go with your first name. Or rather I will name it as 1, 2 and 3. That will be convenient. Label. Let me just copy and paste it. So first name, last name date of birth uh, for gender we'll be creating a check button so we actually don't need a label for that right now so apart from that we'll be needing father's name mother's name uh, local guardian's name and that's it for the personal information section and apart from this we'll be creating a like we have two more sections that is contact details and address so let's go with that but we don't need a title 
but we do need space that is when we finish with our uh, personal information section we need a bit of space so that it looks good and then we give then we need another label for CD as in contact details and we need one more line space then after that we'll be having this one as uh, students phone number mother's phone number father's phone number local guardians phone number students email ID local guardians email ID uh, you can go with uh, parents IDs as well but let's keep it short and simple and for the next month we don't need this but we do need space and we'll change the name as uh, as in a d underscore d as in address details and the labels would be country state city zip code temporary address and permanent address so we're done with the labels let's just rename them and we'll be done with this video so this one would be one two three four five and six and this one named it as two this one as three and this will be seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This will be space four, and this one will be space five. We start with three, is thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. We have declared our variables, and we'll be defining them later in the next video. So let me just comment the sections contact details address details we need hash and yes we are done with the variables we'll be initializing them in the next video so guys i hope you learned how to make the window and or to clear tabs in it. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll meet you in the next video.